Hey guys, what's up? Frozen Nexus here, and sorry I didn't get a video out yesterday. It's actually not due to any fault of my own. I had the videos ready and rendered and everything, uh, but our internet was out uh, for about solid nine hours too. So by the time I got internet back, it was like 7:38 o'clock, and it takes about three to four hours to upload each video because my I only have like a five megabit upload speed. I generally do it overnight and the upload failed overnight so I'm sorry about that but blame Comcast and you'll just be getting double the videos today because I have another cross out video already prepared for you and I have a literal just mammoth ton of fucking seven days to die videos and I'm gonna start pushing those out real quick because I you know they're taking up a lot of room on my computer but anyway Without further ado, this is Crossout 0.3.5. They start out with a general statement saying this update will excite our players with a lot of changes. We added a new decor and a, a mysterious heist map. We significantly helped my shadow performance, but we also added a uh, or we also added the ability to disassemble a vehicle with a single mouse click. So decor, uh, they added a duckinator, which is just hilarious looking at it. It's it's they say it's the rarest decor item named this way for its unusual experience. It's hard to find, but it's worth it. To me, when I look at it, I see freaking Chica from Five Days uh, or Five Nights at Freddy's. But I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that picture on screen probably somewhere in there because it's that's fucking awesome. That it really is. I kind of want one so bad now. Uh, they also added a regular duck, because apparently the Tarjem crew really have a thing for ducks. Don't ask me why. Uh, then they have a traffic light, cantle bag, which I'm assuming is the same thing as a duffel bag, just different dialects, but I don't know, Russians. Uh, travel bag, stop sign, everything is permitted sign, your trash sign, no escape sign, run you fool sign, and stop and think sign. Uh, some of those are epic, some of those are rare, and then the two bags are common. I'll let you figure that out on your own. I'm not going to go through the rarity of each decor item. Alright, so a new mysterious map, the Lost Coast, is available for the heist raid. And they've improved several maps. Alright, so starting off, raids, corrected raid difficulty. Uh, race, increased overall difficulty. Heist, increased difficulty uh, for normal and hard raids. Convoy escort, increased difficulty for easy and normal raids. Siege, reduced the difficulty for hard raids. Free for all. Players can now be added during the game. If one player is left alive, he is automatically considered the winner. Bras. A new category in Battle Search, which includes special missions. Um, missions. This category includes the following. Free for all and Storm Warning. Alright, and then the experience f uh, for points depending on their ranking in battle is as follows. First and second place get 1,200 experience, third place 945, fourth place 675, fifth and sixth place get 540, and seventh and eighth get 405 XP. Players receive scrap metal depending on their ranking in battle. First is 60, second 50, third 40, fourth 30, fifth 20, sixth 15, seventh 15, eighth 10. Alright, balance. Uh, with the introduction of balance changes, we relied on damage figures as well as statistical data on popularity of a particular weapon. We remind you that the changes are not final and will be continued in the future due to these revisions. You may experience minor changes of power score. Alright, melee weapons. The buzzsaw. Structure increased by 30%. Druzba 2. Damage increased by 20%. Harvester. Damage reduced by 20%. Oh, thank god. Explosive spear. Damage reduced by 20%. Thank you. Lancelot Spear, damage increased by 10%, power score increased to 209. The Hardware, the Turret, damage increased by 10%, Missile Turret, damage increased by 10%, Attack Drone, increased by 10%. I literally could have just said Hardware, everything was increased by 10%, but you know what? I'm an idiot. Alright, Weapons, the Light Machine Gun, the, uh, or sorry, the Light Machine Gun, I got ahead of myself there, damage reduced by 10%. The medium machine gun damage increased by 20%. Maybe the medium machine gun is actually useful now. Frontal machine gun damage reduced by 10%. I what what even is that? What <laughs> that must be something I completely missed. Heavy machine gun damage increased by 10%. The mini gun damage reduced by 10%. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> That's disappointing. That's something I have. 
Uh, the M1 or M015 Vulcan perked activates with every 10th shot. Reaper, damaging reduced by 10%, thank you. 25% auto cannon, redu damage reduced by 20%, Jesus, thank you again. Shotgun sledgehammer, damage reduced by 10%. 76 millimeter cannon damage reduced by 5% 88 reduced by 10% 100 reduced by 15% thank god they finally nerfed cannons oh my god 76 millimeter turreted cannon reduced by 10% 88 millimeter turreted reduced by 10% and mammoth was also reduced by 10% the wasp was reduced by 10% the cricket 17 millimeter at was also reduced by 10%. The Pyre Launcher was increased by 20%. Great, of course, I just sold mine. The Hurricane Launcher reduced by 10%, and the Porcupine was reduced by 20%. It was quite overpowered. Alright, now, uh, there's a lot of miscellaneous changes and bug fixes, but that is it for the big updates, so if you're interested in the miscellaneous stuff, you go ahead and keep watching, but if not, uh, peace out, see you in the next one. Slightly optimized shadow now on lower, now on slower machines. Game performance should be greatly improved. Now, if there is no base item in storage, a similar one with an upgrade can be used when loading the blueprint. The interface will be reworked later on. Yeah, it's quite confusing the way it is. Now, uh, now bonuses for upgrades are displayed in vehicle parameters. Known bug display of tonnage and mass limits in parts with upgrades. This will be fixed later, so they know there's that's a bug, but they didn't get it done in this time for this update. Added outline for upgraded parts and storage. That's good. Small improvement of interfaces, descriptions, individual strings. Yeah, that's that's awesome. I mean, they had like a spelling error here and there, so that's good. Added the ability to quickly dis uh, disassemble a car in a garage, which, Jesus Christ, why was that not in the game from day one? Why was there not, like, a delete everything button? Like, come on. Alright. A special icon appears when you hover over the icon of the active slot. It says, like, X, and then it'll allow you to destroy the vehicle. So, yeah, that's how that works. Self-destruction is now available when holding the hotkey. By default, the key is backspace. The option is no longer available in the settings menu. Okay, so the self-destruction is backspace. Really? There's a key for that? Oh, Jesus. That's awesome. I should have known that a long time ago. Okay, well, it's backspace. I'll keep that in mind. Small improvements to items upgrade process. Shortened the uh, countdown before the battle. Thank you. Oh my god. I felt like 20 seconds. I just I could have gone and made a sandwich, gone for a jog, walked my dog, and taken a shower and been back before the game started. Players who are not allowed to write in general chat now also can't write private messages. Ha. Take that, you muted fucks. Alright, bug fixes. Fixed errors when switching game language. Yeah, that's not a problem for me because I'm a fucking retarded American. Can't even speak two words of another language. Fixed scrolling in some containers. Fixed a bug with a disassembly of a leviathan sent into battle. Fixed malfunction of escape key in some cases. Fixed a bug with queries limit to item purchased. Fixed in the correct display of shadows. Fixed whip and barrel shaking after battle. Fix quick purchase with full storage. Fix base color error on map. Fix EULA and user license agreement display error when running the game through Steam. Fix clipboard. Fix incorrect resource icon. Fix display of upgrade and resolutions. Fix interface uh, artifacts when connecting to BVE missions. Fixed errors on several maps. Fix cabin mass bonuses. Fix scope. And I'm assuming that fixed errors on several maps, it means you can't drive through the damn wall of power plant anymore. But anyway, that's it for the patch notes. Hope you enjoyed. Um, there will be a copy to the link of the patch notes in the description. Like I've said before, if you don't actually own the game or own an account, I don't think they actually let you view it. You might be able to. I don't know if they changed that or not. But the last time I tried it, it said, you know, you gotta log in. You're not allowed to view this without an account. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's it. So I hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope to see you back for some Crossout 0.3.5 gameplay. So peace out. See you in the next one.